I've cut the bricks now for the door to get my 20 inches I've got eight two and a half inch bricks I've staggered the joints and now I'll place the frame on top and make sure it fits Now this is the bottom here, so I'm going to cut this out now, all the way along, so that the frame can sit down on the brick tight, and the brick can sit on the door sill, but the metal frame won't actually come in contact with the door sill. Something else I've done, which I didn't mention earlier, is if you see the inside of this steel corner here is rounded so I filed the bricks as well on the corners just for a tighter fit. Like a side view of the door and the sill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount little bars on the outside of the door frame. The top one a little bit longer than the bottom one and I'll be putting a rail on here on an angle and that will mean that when the door slides up to open it'll slide away from the furnace wall which is here and it won't rub on the furnace wall. So these are the rollers I'm going to use. These are $17 each and they've got a V groove in the top and the track which will be mounted on the door frame will sit in the rollers like this. So I'm also going to take apart these assemblies and cut off a little piece of each one of the brackets which I'll weld onto the side of the furnace frame. There, this is what I've done. I've cut about two inches off the end of these brackets and welded the nut onto one side. I've put the door in position now so it's sitting on the sill block and I put a couple magnets there to hold it in place while I'm working on it. So I'll build the entire door opening mechanism while the door is sitting in position. I've temporarily clamped these brackets in place here with the nuts welded on the back of them and that's what the rollers will be uh, bolted into. They're making those mounting bracket nuts two inches away from this steel gives me just enough clearance so the roller doesn't rub. Okay, now it's time to work on the roller track. So this is how the roller track will mount. And this will be the roller action here. So I'm just going to cut this above the top roller. And then I can go and mount these pieces onto the door frame. I've clamped these rails against the rollers and at the bottom I put a little spacer in there I put a little nut in there to hold the bottom of that track about maybe three quarters of an inch off the the base of the furnace frame there okay I've just about finished welding stuff onto the door frame but there's two more things to do yet in the center of the door frame on the top I've welded a tab and drilled a hole in the end of it there and that's for the cable that will be used to lift the door up. Now I'll show the, the method I'm going to use for the door opening mechanism with the foot pedal and counterweight. 
So if that's the furnace frame and that's the door, I'm going to have a cable coming up to a pulley here and a pulley here, a pulley here, and a little pulley here, and then down to the foot pedal, which will be on the floor in front of the door. I'm also going to put a counterweight right here, which will be a piece of pipe filled with uh, probably lead, so that there'll be a displacement of only about five pounds when I put my foot on the foot pedal to press it down. The door right now weighs about 40 or 50 pounds. So there's no way that I want to be applying that much pressure to the foot pedal. For the foot pedal part of the door opener, I'm going to use one of these pneumatic cylinders that are intended for uh, door closers. So that the foot will go here and it'll push the, the lever down and then release slowly. And there's an adjustment on the end here so I can adjust the time that it takes to release to ensure that the furnace door doesn't slam but that it closes slowly. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to weld an additional uh, length of bar onto this because right now it only has about an 8 inch throw and that's not enough. I want to be able to open the furnace door a little bit more than 8 inches if I need to. Okay, so that's what it winds up looking like. Now the next thing I've done is I've filled the counterweight cavity up with scrap lead until it's just about equal the weight of the door and now I can lift the door up with a couple of fingers quite easily. So I'll just try it out here and make sure it's comfortable for me. This is a nice position. This is exactly where I wanted my foot to go. The rollers are in a nice place right now. I don't think I'll have to adjust it anymore. And the door closes nice and slowly.